so if i make up to 7300 videos my children can watch my videos for the next 20 years hi my name is masaka namungu and welcome to i am masaka tv romans chapter 8 which is divided into three parts again endure and our future sufferings and then two um what the, our glory the future glory we're gonna get for what we're doing and then three it's a form of a re reassurance he goes on to 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 say now we belong to god and therefore we're gonna live our life through spiritual but basically living your life through faith and not through what you see here on earth if you choose to follow the life of the spirit you are going to endure some suffering and that in suffering that's where you get most of your strength from and this is what paul tries to let you see in chapter 8 in the beginning of chapter 8 is do you really want to be controlled by your sin do you really want to be controlled by the earth and do you really want to not um experience 100% freedom of just being yourself being being what you were meant to be when you were God assigned to come on earth and that comes by following your spirit a lot of people are too scared to follow the spirit because it might lead them to a point where they they never really expected to go to what they thought they should do and then they start actually following the voice inside them of what they're supposed to be doing the more peace and more freedom a person gets to experience understand that living in spirit is a different thing than living in, in what the world wants you to think being led by the fear so being here on earth you're basically very ego driven very fear based but in spiritual terms you you basically just let go of all the earthly beings and just like understand that whatever you need will be provided for you as long as you're following the path that is entailed for you your ultimate purpose and you will struggle that's the thing a lot of people don't want to follow the spiritual world because they they, they don't want to struggle but ultimate ultimately struggling now for future glory is better than not struggling here on earth and not having any future glory my personal example would have would be when i started making videos it's something that i'd wanted to make for a long time but i didn't have the guts to actually like be like yo i'm gonna make videos so until i started following my spirit i started working towards doing what i ultimately am doing and i'm happy doing what i'm doing because i'm following my spirit so do what doing following your spirit will always ultimately lead you to doing will lead you to doing what you love you're gonna lose your comfort zone however ultimately you will be happy because you are doing things that speak to your soul and you have enough of everything so living in spirit in normal words would be getting rid of every form of fear killing your ego getting rid of things that realizing that you don't need half as much things that you think you need so everything that you fear you will experience so that you mustn't fear anymore you're always going to have a future glory future glory doesn't necessarily have to happen now example john the baptist is dead but we know him paul is dead but here i am in 2021 reviewing paul's work this is paul's work um jesus is not here or dead or whoever is saying whatever but here we are today talking about jesus tupac is dead but we still listen to his music now imagine if he didn't follow the path of making the type of music that he made so bob marley same thing so future glory isn't it won't necessarily happen now in fact it might not even happen with you being alive and we live in a world that needs instant gratification but the spiritual world doesn't work on time so therefore you will might not get the instant gratification like my videos might not pop off now they might pop off when i'm dead life in the spirit is peaceful right and you get future glory 
so you basically gonna live forever and there's a book that I read on this. Um, I think it's called The Purpose. What is my purpose? And it speaks about the fact that God actually made us so that we can live forever. Our bodies might die. But ourselves, us, we don't die. Our spirit, it never dies. So if I make up to 7,300 videos, my children can watch my videos for the next 20 years. And their children can watch videos and and I will forever be in cemented in this world because ultimately humans our essence is not supposed to die our spirit is not supposed to die so that's what Paul is trying to inform us he's trying to inform the fact that you will get future glory and if you live in your in the spirit you will live forever but if you live according to your sinful nature you will die and sinful nature is human nature you're just gonna feed our now we're just gonna feed our ego he reassures us that no matter what happens you're never going to be separated from god's love like nothing nothing is ever going to come between you and god if you follow your spiritual life does it mean um, he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death. Um, no, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. It even goes on to say that um, no death, no life, neither angels, no demons, nor our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the power of hell can separate us from god's love no power in the sky above or in earth below indeed nothing in all creations will never be able to separate us from the love of god right there's really nothing that you can do to make god not like you because the difference is he chose you so when somebody chooses something no matter it's not their love is not conditional it's not oh if you walk on water i might give you attention it's i chose you i really don't care what you do I, my heart wants you and that's that but ego-based love or ego-based relationship is i can only love you if you do this i can only love you if you do that now the ego is never fulfilled so therefore you'll never be able to love the person because that person is never fulfilled but with spirituality is because it's so unconditional that it's a choice you chose that person so you don't look at their flaws and you don't look at their problems you don't look at oh their nose is too crooked or their eyes are too this or this or this you look at their spirit you looked at their heart and like i said the spirit never dies it never dies it's not gonna go it's energy energy cannot be destroyed or well, can it i don't know maybe i'm messing up my my physics but my point is we are reassured as human beings that there's really nothing that can separate us from God except ourselves. We then we decide if we're going to take the love that's been given to us. And most people have decided that they've believed their life for so long that they are not worthy. Not knowing that you already already give it's not about your worth. God already knows you're not worthy. Don't let the fact that you feel unworthy or the lies that you're told that you're unworthy stops you from going. He wants you as unworthy as you are because you're created in his image from the beginning. So eat good or bad is part of the image of God. The only thing that you need to work on is to pray that you're not led by your sinful nature, but instead grow yourself and your relationship and be led by the spirit. But other than that, has the ability to turn every story into a good story and some of these like most of the, um most of our sinful nature stops us from going to god because they're like oh i can only go to god when i stop drinking no go like that jesus drank <laughs> they're not worried about that not worried about only the world worries about stuff like that only the world makes you have to jump hoops to get its attention at the end of the day it's um 
it has to stop us from going to God because there's really nothing separating us from God. He refused us for that to happen. He chose us. He made us. He chose us. We are his DNA. We are his image. If I was an artist and I um and I drew and I made this bottle, right? Which I I made this bottle. I love this bottle as this bottle because it's a direct expression of how I feel inside. So I really love this bottle. It's a work of art to me. And I created it. So I'm gonna love it as it is. Whether next time if I wanted to fly, I can design a flying bottle. But for now, this is my bottle and I love this bottle. And that's literally how God views us. And like I said, take the time to read everything that I'm saying here. It's in the word. Like read Romans 8 and we can discuss it below in the comments if you want to. So take the time to actually read the stuff. Don't just go to church and have someone tell you how to think and reprogram you. But read. Read the stuff. And if you don't know, ask. Use your own discernment. Let your spirit be what discerns for you. But that's just my message. Anyway, uh, my name is Masikana Mungura. And thank you for watching. I am Masikana TV. 